The new fried chicken and oyster restaurant with a hip hop theme is getting ready to open not too far from Howard University. But here's the issue. The place has artwork featuring iconic black rap artists as chickens, and some say that's offensive. Delia Gonsalves has that story. I came from the perspective of defending artists. The debate on U Street, freedom of expression versus cultural sensitivity. Tone deaf is an understatement. Roy Boy's hip-hop themed fried chicken and oyster joint opening up in the historic Shaw neighborhood next week with murals depicting late rapper Notorious B.I.G. as a rooster and the iconic Vibe magazine cover featuring death row rappers with chicken beaks. Artists and comedians should really be allowed that kind of leeway. But some say the artist went too far. As an elder of the U Street scene, being an MC, you know, being into the culture, it just defended me. There's a deep history of, you know, making our people, especially connected to chicken, look like animals because it's dehumanizing, it's uh, degrading. You have to be sensitive to the culture and the history of things around you. There's a rich and, and beautiful history here. I mean, we're standing right here by Ben's Chili Bowl. And just like that, the matriarch of U Street, once known as Black Broadway, steps out of Ben's. Virginia Ali and Chef Rock worked together to open Ben's next door a decade ago. Rock was fresh off his win with Hell's Kitchen. Now, the celebrity chef is using his platform to call out his fellow restaurateurs. The owner of Roy Boys happens to be white. The artist is also a white man who drew criticism on his own Instagram page. Marketing is everything, right? Nobody comes to a restaurant they don't know about. And I understand that. What you won't do is play with the culture that I love. A lot of folks heated on U Street tonight, so I took the conversation off the streets right to that restaurant's front door. The managing partner tells me tonight, in light of the backlash, they've decided to take down the murals, saying they didn't mean to offend anyone. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. Yeah,